As the continent Antarctica is often overlooked, its total surface area is about 14 million kilometers square, which places it ahead of Europe at twice the size of Australia. The continent's 98% surface is covered by thick and compact ice sheet reaching an average depth of over a mile. The continent's lowest temperature is about minus 53 degrees Celsius, the lowest temperature ever recorded anywhere on the planet. Despite being the most inhospitable place on the planet, recent discoveries suggest that the continent was once covered by forests. So let's start our episode. Hi everyone, this is Vishay and welcome to my channel. About 600 million years ago, you wouldn't recognize our planet. Instead of seven continents, all the dry land existed in one supercontinent called the Pangaea. With temperatures too high and sultry humidity. Over hundreds of millions of years ago, the southern part of the supercontinent called the Gondwana began to break up from the northern part called Eurasia until it began to sat near the south pole of the planet called the Antarctica. With high temperature to low temperature shift of the Gondwana land, the vegetation had to withstand 4 to 5 months of complete darkness and were followed by 4 to 5 months the sun never set. That meant that while modern plants take several months to transition from season to season, plants on Gondwana had few days to transition if they were actually going to survive the rapid change in light and temperature. The kings of the Gondwana during Permian period were belonging to the Glossopteris genus. They grew from 65 to 131 feet height and the leaves were broad and flat larger than your forearm. But around 251 million years ago, the mass extinction occurred. The Permian Triassic mass extinction killed about 95% of the Earth's species. Scientists are still aren't sure but what caused it. But some say that the volcanic eruptions emitted greenhouse gases which raised the earth's temperature to hazardous levels caused the oceans to acidify. The fossils preserved the biology and chemistry of the ancient trees which will help the researchers to investigate more on these high latitude ecosystems to figure out why some plants survived the mass extinction and why some didn't. Fossil microorganisms and fungi have also been preserved inside the wood. The specimens look similar to the petrified forest of Yellowstone National Park, which were fossilized due to volcanic materials which buried the living trees. The fungi in the wood itself probably mineralized and turned into a stone within a matter of weeks, and in some cases while a tree was still alive. These all things happen incredibly fast. On analysis, the pattern growth in the Antarctica tree samples have shown habits typically associated with the evergreen forest. But however, fossilized leaf impressions demonstrate a layer of plant tissues indicative of a forest shedding all of its leaves at once, a deciduous forest. The research suggests that they were mixed forests containing trees population of both evergreen and deciduous. Antarctica is devoid of native human settlements. Although there are a number of research stations scattered across the continent capturing about 1000 to 5000 visitors at a time. Besides this, the only creatures to thrive in this lost continent are those creatures who are specifically adapted to extreme cold temperatures like penguins and seals. The discovery of fossilized forests however seemed to suggest that life had once been abundant here. So friends, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a like and share this video with your friends and your family members so that everyone gets to know about this Antarctica mystery. And subscribe to my channel for finding more interesting videos like this one. Meet you in the next video. Bye.